okay so now guys the layout has been completed and you can see first I have created here the image then I provide an image that is our logo and then the text view in which we have provided our application name then we have created uh, another relative layout in inside which I have provided a text added text view that is a email which have input type is text email address and then the password added text then we have include a layout which we have created of two buttons that is login or register button in which I have first the root element is our linear layout then inside that again the linear layout which have orientation is horizontal first one is the vertical then again inside there are two linear layout I have provided which has a width I have provided a 0 dp and their weight I have provided that is 1 and the another one I have provided the weight 2 that is the larger than the size of the previous one ok and same here we have also include the another layout that is for the or just for the creation that you can see here the same logic I have used here also to create this section but there I have created three linear layout inside the horizontal section in which two linear layout has the same weight that is one and the one and the middle one I have provided as 0 0.5 so there are three linear layout first one is this one and the second one is middle one and the third one which they have a different different weight but the width will be 0 dp and then after that I have provided text view for the forget password and then the button for the google login okay so you can see guys in the button I have provided a style also that is the firebase UI the account user google button as earlier I told you that the firebase ui we are only used for to styling the things in our project not for the inbuilt to call the inbuilt layout that is the login layout okay and for the background we will do into the next lecture okay so guys that's for today and Continuing to the next lecture.